Hey guys, Matt here, and today I have a box opening of Cosmo Blazer. Uh, Cosmo Blazer is a very interesting set. Um, I gotta say, it's got some pretty cool archetypes like the Fire Fist in it, but I don't know. Uh, I think I, I think I'm gonna like this set more than Abyss Rising, because uh, Abyss Rising was really not that great in my opinion, and. Um, this has been, it's been a while since I've done a regular box opening on the channel, so hope you guys enjoy it. Um, I've done a lot of deck profiles and special edition stuff lately, because uh, there hasn't really been a set with just a box. Uh, if a special edition is available, I usually go for that over the box, just because I like the fact that I can pull, like, five secret rares if I'm, like, really, really, really lucky. You know, boxes have set ratios, and I'm, that's good in some respects, but... You know, sometimes you want to just put your luck on the line and see what you pull. So anyway, here's my box of Cosmo Blazer, if I can keep it open. Box of Cosmo Blazer. And I'm going to just jump into the packs. I'm going to try and keep it as short as I can. And hopefully. I actually don't know too many of the cards that come in this set. Uh, let me see if I can get this in the focus. because I. There we go. It's a little Goblin Circus. Hazy Flame Griffin. Mm, the cards aren't focusing. Let me just... Uh, you know, let me fix my camera, guys. I'm going to come back. I'm going to leave the pack right here. I'm just going to fix the focus on the camera. Be hey, guys. Matt here. I'm back again. And I fixed uh, my focus. Because I have the set. I have the focus set to um, only focus on one thing and just stay at that. And I picked up the box, not the one I had it closer. So anyway, here's the pack. Same first pack. Goblin Circus. Hazy Flame Griffin. Exceeds Dimension Splash. Heraldic Beast Basilisk. Ooh, rares that I can never read. Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Gorilla. And Gaga Gaga Draw for Super Rare. And some commons. Put those off to the side. So, Super Rare out of the first pack. It's not bad, not bad. Gaga Gaga Draw. I'm sure it's good for Gaga Gaga stuff. I have a. Looks like another Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Spirit. Hey, look! Ultra Rare Lightning Chidori. Or Lightning Plover, as it was originally called, I believe. Really cool wind support. Um, two level 4 wind monsters to bring it out. Really cool, really cool ultra rare. Um, I think it's a really cool card. So, wow, two packs, two hollows so far. Not bad, huh? Looks like Cosmo Blazer is liking me. Better than Abyss Rising was. Um, I probably uploaded my Abyss Rising last week. So, you guys know how bad that special edition was. ZW stuff. And that's it. Some more. There's a lot of fusion cards in this set. There's the Fire Sunbird thingy. There's that card I just pulled. Like, that's pretty popular. That's a lot of fusions for not hero support. You know? Um, if you guys want to see a box opening of a specific set, leave the recommendation in the comments below. I'll be sure to look into it. Slack a Magician. I got trolled. I really thought that was a Exceed monster to be hollow. It's kind of trolly when they make exceed monsters as rares because you're like oh I pulled a hollow and then you get to it and it's just like oh just a rare so yeah if you guys want to see me open a specific set please let me know I'll look into it and maybe pick it up hey look the new uh, black wings would suck <laughs> I mean if you want to make new black wing support Konami come up with something good give them a exceed monster or something or you know make something like that don't give them some random cards that probably won't be run competitively. Hey, there's Crimson Sunbird. Heraldic Beast Leo. Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Snake. It's pretty cool. I don't know if he's necessary in the Fire Fist deck, but uh, hey, why not? And I left the rare in there. There we go. So I pulled two supers and ultra. That's not bad. Out of the first Six packs? Wow. Slack of Magician trolling me again. <laughs> I gotta say the cover card of Cosmo Blazer looks really cool. I don't know how playable it is, uh, but artwork wise it looks pretty damn cool. Not as cool as uh, Galaxy Eye's Tachyon Dragon is going to look, but uh, pretty close. Another Crimson Sunbird. Infernally Archer. Yeah, wait, Infernally Support? I did not know that was in this set. Oh, my Ultra Rare, Mermail. 
Abyssitus. I don't know if he's good or not. I don't really don't. But, um, hey, why not, right? I heard the Hazy Beast stuff is a pretty cool archetype, or Hazy Flame, whatever they're called now. Um, and I think most of the stuff in this Cosmoblazer for them is, like, common or rare and, you know, like a few supers or something. So I think it's a pretty cheap archetype. So you never know. Maybe those will see some play just because they're abundant and they're not bad. But then again, I guess you could say the same thing about Chronomalies and Return of the Duelist. Brushfire Knight. Is he the one that... When a fire monster is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, send one fire monster from your deck to the graveyard. Eh, nah. Oh, uh, Noble Arms Caliburn. I can't really complain about pulling the promo card because I didn't go to the sneak peek, so... At least I have a copy of it, I guess, but... Eh, I would rather like to pull that from a uh, random pack than a box. And hey, March of the Monarchs, given some support for those tribute monsters... Tribute summon monsters you control cannot be targeted or destroyed by card effects. You cannot special summon monsters from your extra deck. Great, and I think that's pretty cool uh, tech for monarchs. You know, those frognarchs. Star drawing. What a cool star drawing, guys. Come on. ZW Tornado Bringer. And that's it. I wonder if I'm going to pull a... Uh See, I already pulled my two Ultras, so I have a couple Supers left, the Ghost maybe, and Ultimate and Secret, I guess. Hopefully. Really hope I don't get one of those unlucky boxes that don't pull the Secret. Hey, look, the other Blackwing card. Gladius the uh, Midnight Sun. He's actually not terrible. I, I messed around with him on DN, because I actually thought he was printed in a TCG, like, months ago when I was making Blackwings, or just testing them out for before Dan made the deck. And I was using him in a build, and I was like, wait, that card's not printed? Heraldic Beast, Twin Headed Eagle. Not bad. And I was like, wait. Like, I saw the new OCG imports or whatever, and I was like, I thought that was printed already. What the, what the hell, Konami? I just dropped some of my hollow cards. Let me just organize those again. So that was the entire right side, so we're halfway through the box, and it started on the left side now. Just leave them in here, spread them out like that. Pick one up, and let's go. Alright, I wonder what I'm going to pull for a secret if I hopefully get one. Alright, Crimson, Crimson Blader. I'm going to have a card of the week on this guy. I thought he was printed too when I was first making Samurais last, like, May. And I was like, wait a minute. This card's never printed. It's a great level 8 synchro. It can lock down so many decks if you just use it right. Like, I'm going to have to talk about him in a video. He's really cool. I'm actually really glad he pull I pulled him. I might put him into my extra deck for Samurai's because I really like using him. He just shuts down so many plays. If you use him right, he can be really good. And I'm surprised he was a rare. I was expecting him to be like a super rare kind of import because I know he was he's an OCG import. But I was expecting him to be hollow because he's really good. Uh, Hyper Ancient Shark Megalodon. Fool of Prophecy, super rare. Hmm. All right, another super, not bad. I got a lot of my hollows on the right side. I don't know if that's a thing. Cause I believe Galactica. Oh, I see an ultimate back there. Galactica got a lot of stuff on his openings in the right side. Heraldi Reborn, ultimate rare. L really, another lightning Chidori. Chidori. I mean, come on, guys. I'm. I'm I, I said it was a good card, but. I didn't want to pull it twice. It doesn't even look that good in Ultimate. You can't even see what's on, you can't even see like what's on the picture. It just reflects all the light. Like I'm gonna have to compare that to the Ultra in a second just to see which one looks better. Where is the Ultra? There's the Ultra. I, I, the Ultra looks so much better. I know it's a little sidetrack of the video, but come on, look at that and look at that. You can see the artwork so clear, and then the Ultimate Rare is just like someone threw up on a card. Come on. The light, I move it to here so the light doesn't reflect as much. You can't even see that that's the artwork. That's just really Konami. Do you like even quality test your cards before you release them? I wanted to pull some <coughs> something else as an ultimate. Uh, oh well, nothing to complain about, I guess. It's a good card. Oh, hazy flame uh, blast thingy. Weird, exceed. Secret re rare, noble knight, mer med medrot. Um, okay. 
I don't know if that's a good card or not. <laughs> I'm going to say it might be. Um, Noble Knights are not the most played archetype, considering they only have like 10 cards in the archetype. Hopefully it's worth something off the box, because I do like to make some profit off these boxes, or at least good trade bait. Inferno the Archer, and that's it. So hopefully that secret rare is worth, you know, at least a little bit. I'm happy with like a $10 secret rare. I don't need the money cards all the, you know, all the time, but something better than a uh, Thunder Seahorse, if you know what I mean. Ooh, ultimate Flame Formation, Sieto, Seto, or some shit. And that Fusion card that I haven't pulled since like the first pack. Alright, so I pulled my Ultimate and Secret. The only thing that could be left is the Ghost. That's kind of lame. Maybe, oh wait, I might have a Super or two left. Hopefully I do, because I have a lot of packs left. It'd be boring if there was no Hollows. ZW, uh, Lightning Blade. ZW's got a lot of support in this set. That's kind of cool. I don't know if I just pulled the same... Whoa, whoa. Um, I hit the camera really bad there. Let me just move it back into place. I apologize for that. I went to scratch my arm and smack the camera. So yeah, as I was saying, I don't know if I pulled the same card of the ZWs or if they've got like a couple more support cards from this archetype. I mean, this, pa this pack, I don't know. Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Spirit. And that's it. Wow. I hope I pull at least one more... Uh, Super rare. Let me just move the camera just back just a little bit. Yeah, I have four packs left, so hopefully I pull another hollow. Pulled all my stuff in the beginning. Crimson Sunbird. I haven't really pulled too many of that. Oh, that's the gorilla. And that's it. Hmm. Was the secret rare really going to be my last hollow? That's kind of interesting. Maybe I'll get, like, the most lucky pack ever and pull another secret rare. Infernal Flame Vixen. Valkyrian Knight. Okay, got a super rare. Not bad. Uh, this set is really... I don't know. I had high hopes for Cosmo Blazer. But after opening a lot of these packs, I mean, I will have to sit down and look through the rares, look through the archetypes when I have the cards in front of me. Because I don't really like looking at spoiler lists. That's just my personal opinion. Blackwing, uh, what's this guy's name? Damacus the Polar Knight. Okay, uh, that's, no, that's just, no. I'm not going to learn a name that's hard and not even, like, a great card. All right, last pack of Cosmo Blazer. Maybe I'll pull the Ghost Rare. Number 93? Hard Earth Dragon, I think it is. Let's hope for something amazing. Rare is Hazy Flame Manticore. And just a rare. Alright, so no ghost. Alright, I'm just do a quick recap of my super rares, ultra rares, etc. And ultras. Let me just move these off camera. Okay, so super rares. I have Valkyrian Knight. Fool of Prophecy. Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Snake, Noble Arms Caliburn, Gaga Gadra, Ultra Rare, Mermel Abyssitus, Lightning Chidori, Ultimate Rare, Lightning Chidori, Secret Rare, Noble Knight, Medoris, no wait, Medra. wonder what he does. Something with levels and trying to change his hand. Okay, whatever, I don't care. Anyway, guys, if you like anything, as always, check out my eBay page. I will be posting these cards there if you want to buy something or if you want to work out a trade with me. Let me know by private messaging me on YouTube. I always check my inbox. I'm trying to keep up with trades. Um, it is a little busy for me right now because the new semester of uh, classes just started, so I'm getting used to my new schedule and stuff like that. But uh, I'll try and trade as best I can. So private message me if you want. Um, I really like Lightning Plover. I'm going to keep calling it Lightning Plover. I like his artwork. He looks really cool. And he's a really good card, just in general. So yeah, um, guys, check out my channel for more box openings, deck profiles, dual videos, and more. Please let me know, as mentioned in the, in the earlier in the video, if you want to see me open a specific set. I'll look into it and maybe buy it. And open it for you guys, just because you asked for it. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.
check out the channel and this card because it looks really awesome. <laughs> Alright, bye guys. Hey guys, thanks for watching my latest video. Please feel free to check out either one of these featured videos. And also do not forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.